back. How you doing my friends? Chauvin Shy here. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to this channel and, and, and you haven't seen other videos here on the Joven Shire channel, please hit that sub, sub please hit that subscribe button because if you like this video, I guarantee you're gonna like the other things that we do here. And as you saw that by the little flub, I'm not editing this video, it's just me talking to you because that's what I like to do. And I feel like making videos like this just feels more like a conversation, just feels more real. You get to see the inside thoughts of my headspace. And today, the thoughts from my headspace are coming at you about two different things under one theme. And that theme is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, uh, today being November 1st, there was a uh, Nintendo Direct. It was the last Nintendo Direct before Super Smash Bros. Ultimate actually comes out. And this was the one where I was like, all right, they're finally going to announce it. They're finally going to say it. You know what? Actually, I'm not going to talk about that yet because that's a negative thing. There's, a, there's two things I want to talk about. One thing's a positive thing, one thing's a negative thing. Let's start off with the positive. Now, the positive thing here is really that there is just so much to this game. Um, we're looking at a total uh, after DLC. We'll talk about more DLC in a second. We're looking close to 80 characters uh, altogether. Uh, just under 60 characters for the trophy assists. And that's not kind of, uh, including all the stages. Plus, they did announce there's going to be a spirit mode, which is their, their new trophy system, which is more of an RPG element where you can power up characters. I'm sure there's also a way to neuter that if you don't want to play with the power-ups online or something or with your friends. But more importantly, I've been wanting it ever since it was out on the Wii version. We aren't getting this subset emissary again, but we are getting another story mode. I believe it's called World of Light. Uh, the concept was pretty neat. It looks like all the characters have been like sucked away and turned into like negative versions of themselves or evil versions. And it looks like uh, Kirby got away. If you watch the original trailer, I'll let you go find that. I don't want to take it and put it on here because that's not what we're trying to do. Anyways, the the announced trailer for it was cool. Had a pretty sappy song, but whatever. That's what happens when you get uh, uh, you know Japanese storytelling always has like weird music to it. Not my jam, but still great. <laughs> Anyways, it looks like that's how you could unlock characters, just like you were able to in the subset em emissary the first time around. There's probably other ways to unlock all the characters, because that is something to note, that this game launches with only six characters of the 73 available. So it's just whoever was available in the original Smash Brothers games. So I guess as you unlock more characters through the, sub uh, the new story mode, you'll be able to unlock them and, and be able to play as other characters throughout, but you'll have to start off as Kirby, which is pretty great for Lasercorn, because he loves Kirby. <laughs> So I thought that was neat. I thought it was really great that they announced um, that they announced the uh, a new story mode because I, I was really hoping that they were going to do that, and they did. So that is wonderful. So now let's talk about the negative. I just this is my. I'm so excited for this game. I already love this game. I don't even have it. Uh, I did play it at D3, and immediately I was like, this might be the best Smash Brothers game. The thing that is already kind of bugging me though. I just, how is Waluigi not in this game? How is Waluigi not in this game? So they've announced every single character that's ever been in Smash is going to be in this. Plus they added extra characters. In this one, we're getting Ken, which is going to be an Echo Fighter of Ryu, which as a Ken fan, I'm super excited for because I'm all about Ken over Ryu. Uh, plus they were playing his music. That's pretty dope. And the fact that Guile's getting added as an assist trophy, I think that's cool. I really just want to see a Street Fighter brawler game like Smash Brothers. Come come on, that, that'll do great, right? Who else wants to see that? Let me know in the comments below. Back on track though. So Ken got it, um, uh, got added Incineroar. Hold on, we're moving out of this chair right now because I wrote it down because it's a Pokemon from Sun and Moon and I actually hadn't played Sun and Moon yet. Uh, I wrote it down here in my notes. I got notes here. Um, Incinero Incineroar, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't know this was a Pokemon beforehand uh, and I'm, I, I dig him. He's like this wrestling wolf bear thing mm -mm. uh but he's dope and he's because he's i like him because he's like his his styles it's it's wrestling he, he's a pokemon who has wrestling moves and that's awesome uh the fact that i think it might be his side smash not side smash side b like he'll grab you and throw you against the ropes and then you can follow up with another move that's that's super cool um so it, i was glad to see another uh, Pokemon character get added in because that's just neat. Again, there's so many characters that could have been added, but not Waluigi. So I'm like, okay. They said after those two character reveals that they were done. The entire base uh, roster was full. I was like, okay, no Waluigi. And then they go and announce at the end of the video that there's going to be five DLC characters, but 
There is a sixth character that you can get for free if you pre-order the game, uh, and it's not part of the five character DLC. You will still be able to pay for him afterwards. And I, I was like, oh, here it is. Here it is. They're going to do it. The first DLC character is going to be Waluigi. No! It was the Piranha Plant. The Piranha Plant. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. I love weird Smash Brothers characters. I'm going to play the Piranha Plant and probably get really, really good with them. But how? How in the blue moons is Piranha Plant a character before Waluigi? Uh, now, I heard a long time ago that a lot of the decisions that Nintendo makes for especially Smash Brothers is based on what's popular in Japan and not popular in America. So, well, not, not that it's not a not popular in America, but I mean, like, it, it's, if, if the Japan audience loves it, that's what's going to happen first. That's why there's so many Fire Emblem characters in Smash Brothers, because the Fire Emblem franchise is super popular in Japan. And of course, it is becoming more and more popular here in America, which I'm a fan of the Fire Emblem series. In fact, I would like a Fire Emblem on the Switch. I would play that very, very much. Uh, so I gotta wait for that. But, 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 Waluigi, not in it. Piranha Plant is. Oh, that's what I was saying. Because in, in Japan, Waluigi isn't, isn't popular. But in America, we've got the whole where's Waluigi movement. And, and it's sad <laughs> that we want him so badly here in America. In Japan, they're like, eh, no, we don't like Waluigi. And so I'm hoping, I'm hoping that Nintendo can come to their senses and give us Waluigi in Super Smash Bros. as a DLC character. He's not even the first DLC character. Um, he was saying that they, they're still working on characters. Uh, they're in development. It is confirmed. They didn't announce outside of uh, the Piranha Plant. Uh, but they did say that in about a year, all of it should be done. So between now and next uh, Christmas, we're going to have six new additional characters in Smash Brothers, all of which will bring another stage to the game. And they're saying that it's not just Echo Fighters. I wonder if we'll still get Echo Fighters, but they did make uh, they did emphasize that it was going to be like new characters from scratch. So I'm excited to see that. I just want to see Waluigi. I just don't get how Petey Piranha is there. Before Waluigi, does that make sense to anyone else? I don't. I don't know. Um, I who else did I want to see? I, I I didn't write it down earlier, but I, like I know I want to see Genome from or Mallow from Super Smash Brothers. Uh, I'm sorry from Mario RPG, but I, I think that's just never, ever, 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 ever going to happen, and that's too bad. But that's the world we've got. So it sounds like I'm ending on a negative note that we just don't have Waluigi yet, and. I don't want it to feel like I'm not excited. I don't want it to seem like I'm angry at Nintendo. I'm just, I just, how did, how did Pete Pratt get in there before Waluigi? I don't know. I'm excited for this game. I can't wait to play it. I'm going to tell you right now that when it does come out, I'm probably going to stream it a lot. And uh, I'm going to be having uh, Lasercorn and other friends, so Inky, Mari, whomever, to come over and play Smash with me because, oh, Leo. We got to get Leo back on the channel because I know he's a big Smash fan also. So there's going to be a lot of Smash Brothers content on my on my channel and whatnot. So get ready for that. I am excited for it. I just I I don't know how they missed this opportunity. Like this would have been the moment. Like end on this high note where uh, Waluigi shows up, and then I don't know the the crowd would go wild. But now we have to wait. There's five DLC characters, so there is still hope that he will be a, a downloadable character. I don't, I can't imagine a world where he won't be one of those characters. I can't. It doesn't make sense to me that he wouldn't be a downloadable character. So let me know in the comments below who you want to see show up as a DLC character, and and let's talk about it. Uh, I want to see the best ones in there. I'm going to comment to them because that's why I like to do this. I like to make these videos so that I can talk to you guys about what's going on in the geek world. Sometimes we cover movies, TV shows, superheroes, comic books, today video games. That's what we do here on the Jovenshire channel. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, sign up for notifications because you know, YouTube is YouTube. Till the next time guys, I'll see you later.